Brisbane Wakes Up with Steph, Abby and Matt on B105. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. Um, we were just discussing, and feel free to jump on our uh, Facebook and send us a message. Mm. If you can reverse the shrinking of anything that's gone in the dryer. <laughs> of anything. Can you reverse that? Mm. <laughs> you can, but uh, it takes work. It does take work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, because I, I don't use a dryer because environmentally and for electricity, Bills, we don't. That's Scott's voice, sorry. Um, we but picked that. Mm-hmm. I was just, I was so tired yesterday and I didn't know if it was raining. So I put everything in, but I put one of my favorite jumpers and it was like, it, it, it wasn't an expensive one, but I've never bought Calvin Klein before. Mm-hmm. And it's a knit and I think it's like pure wool. Mm-hmm. And I really like it. It's a really great color. I even wore it on the weekend and a lot of old ladies give me compliments. Okay, I cool. think it's like a bright orange thing and they're like, I love the color. Oh, I love um, that jumper But jump I put it down. in and it completely shrunk. So I was going to give it to Eden. But then it someone said. It is about said, the size of what my seven-year-old yeah, could wear. Yeah, they've said that you can put it into. Warm water with warm. conditioner. Mm. Like hair conditioner edition. Is it in a bucket? Can I just do it here? I think she does. Mm. Or uh, fabric. You, you probably need to let it soak for quite a while. It's, it's like the rice. Mm. The when fine, people, yeah, people that say, doesn't work. Well, some people say it does. Some it absorbs it does. the rice, absorbs the water. Quick. Nah, I see. I reckon the phone, the phone and the rice. I think it would have still worked had it not gone in the rice. Like it mustn't have just dried out. Must have been lucky, yeah. Mm. But it's it's the same concept as why you put rice in salt. Yeah, I guess to draw the, the moisture. The moisture goes to the rice, yeah. not, the, not the salt. Mm. Um, Take a no. She's yeah. All right. Our uh, uh, hair. It is hair conditioner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and so it's meant to stir so- until hair conditioner has covered all the fabric. Squeeze closing to expel excess liquid. Lay flat and manually stretch back to shape. That sounds it. like too much trouble. I'll try it. Give it a mm. go. Yeah. Mm. And guys have been lathering soft lotions on themselves to make <laughs> things bigger for years. <laughs> that doesn't works. last. A, doesn't last long, but you'll get one wear out of it, maybe. I love all these old yeah. old wives' towels. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they're not. But I guess they just all spread. Mm. Now. And like, who tried? Who was the first one to try them? Yeah. You know? Yeah. How do you find that combination? Didn't yeah. work with just water. Why not work some hair conditioner in there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, good luck. Thank you. On Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers, as always. And mm-hmm. um, well, if it doesn't work, we'll start a GoFundMe, everyone. Mm-hmm. So watch your space. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get into it. We'll give you answers to Alpha Bucks at the end of this podcast. I love the red carpet of event mm-hmm. to look at, you know, the who's who. And mm. it was the Dally M's. And uh, last night, there was, there was a headline. And I was like, oh, that's really harsh, isn't it? Because it says, NRL star, uh, star stuns with teammate sister in relationships in spotting. And you're like, what is going on? But yes, it does end up that Harry Grant um, has hooked up with his teammate, Trent. Mm. Is it Trent Leitro? Leitro? Oh, I'm, I never get the last names correct. Yeah. Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> but his teammate's sister. Mm. And I want to know on 13 Well, like he just turned up at the red carpet that day and was like, hey, hey got a date. I, know, I, I didn't tell you earlier. <laughs> That's <laughs> what the headline looks like. But apparently they've been dating for a couple of years, which oh, is a little know. bit different, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You, you can't turn up to they've the They've been Dally dating M's for several years. So I guess it's like not surprised. a. Yeah, but he should have, though. He should have walked up to him and go, what are you doing with my sister? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone would go, ooh, that's awkward. It probably was at the start anyway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But he was asked about it and he's like, it's all good. It's all good. They've been dating for a while. And he said, doesn't matter because I'm still the favourite son. So that obviously means when they go to like family gatherings mm. and stuff like that. But they would have and met through them. Best place, mm. Harry Grant is the captain of the Melbourne Storm as well. Mm. So he's technically his boss. You would have to speak to your... With from experience, mm-hmm. um, my my brothers are like we're not taking sides because right. I started dating Scott my himself. brothers. Yeah, best mate, not best mate. One of friends, friends. Okay, yeah. Well, see, the thing is, Scotty knows he's got an ally because they'd be like, he'd be like, oh mate, she's losing her mind. Well, and I could have like, told you that she's been you. like that her whole life. So <laughs> no, my brother did. My oldest brother did. He, he, sort did, of, he didn't like it, or my uh, he was okay with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the middle brother was not okay with it. Right, um, right. but he, um, my brother, sort of took me aside and was like, "Hey, just so you know, like love him to bits, but Scott's not really the settling down the type, marrying type. Just so you're aware." And you like, went, "I'll cool. see about that." <laughs> <laughs> and then he said to Scotty, "Hey, <laughs> just so you know, love my sister to bits, but she's not really the." Settling down <laughs> to So we got married out of spite. Mm. Um, <laughs> so many have. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I do look at it and I'm like, oh, what's the rules? Yeah, Do you have to ask first? Mm. 
Uh, yeah, and I think if you do go to your mate and you ask if you can date their sister or if you, you know, go to your friend and say, can I date their brother, if you've already slept together, mm. you're not really asking permission then, are you? Like are just the, giving if, you the heads up. Yeah. like it's a hard launch. Yeah. yeah. It's like um, uh, Chandler and Monica. Yes. Mm. If it works out, it is the best thing mm. because mm. for us, it's always great because Scotty loves hanging out with my family. Mm. And I always think, oh, that's so good. He's such a family man. But no, he's just going out with his mates. Yeah, yeah. And because my brothers don't give a damn of my opinion, mm. we're mm. on a family gathering and they'll go to the casino and I'll be like, what? And he'll go, oh, it's, your brother wanted to. I didn't even want to go. Mm. I didn't want to even go. Just as brother-in-laws, we're trying to just have a bond. bond yeah. yeah. Like, and then I'll give my sure. brother a call and be like, oh, chill, oh, relax, because he doesn't care. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine that makes you chill out. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I go, oh, thanks for telling me. I mm. wasn't aware. So mm. then, so uh, where does it, I guess it carries on then, like when it gets to marriage, does he, obviously Scott would have asked your dad for permission, mm. but when he was asking you out, did he go and ask your brothers for permission first? No, because we did the hook up and then All let them know. Fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, we're already there. Yeah. It's already happening. Yeah. Mm. Hey, did right. you ever date a mate's sibling? No. 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 Um, Just his own family members. Oh, yeah. did you have to ask? My uncle. Your, your uncle for you to date your cousin? <laughs> no, or not? he insisted. <laughs> yeah. You're just running with it now, aren't you? Because yeah. this chump over here it's is just going to keep bringing it up. Story, like, whatever. The story's gotten so far-fetched he now that I don't cu- even. cousin once. But which if you, is legal. And, you didn't and if know. you saw him. You um, <laughs> <laughs> you would have went there too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Can't beat them. Join them. <laughs> uh, thirteen, ten, sixty. Have you dated a friend's sibling? Mm. What are the, what were the rules of engagement on it? Mm-hmm. Um, you I know? don't think I would have been cool with anyone dating my brothers. Ah, uh, any of your friends? Yeah. Mm. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I would have what been like my brothers. Are, my brothers are not no. good enough for you. <laughs> 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 what What about it? Wouldn't you have liked? Mm, I don't know if I would be as cool as having my friend there on every occasion. Mm. And plus, of course, any of my friends would have been my parents' favourite. Mm, so it would have okay. been, the, well, whole, you'd have been out. the whole group mm. <laughs> against me. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. But then you would, it kind of would almost have an ally. Yeah. Yeah, mm. because my friends and I are so close that we're like the ones that give each other crap. Yeah, so I don't okay. want someone else around the table giving me crap. <laughs> I got it enough. You see those stories as well where two sets of twins marry yes. the opposite twins? I've been trying to get them on the show. Like, what How's the this? hell? Yeah, so identical twins mm. married identical twins. Yeah. Now their kids through their da- DNA is actually more like siblings than cousins. Yeah, right. Isn't that bizarre? And then do they all come out looking the same? Like what happens there? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you know that your brother thinks your wife is hot. Because she looks like your wife. But that's okay because you think <laughs> yeah. that they're She thinks you're hot. You're yeah. hot is that okay? Like or does that make the whole thing strange? I think it's strange to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. They haven't said yes to our interview request, but they will. But I think it's because... They it's listen like, to our show and they're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we know you kiss your cousins. No way. <laughs> One cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second cousin. Oh, I don't cousin. know about Staff. He says his cousins are hot. They are, but they're it, out of my league. <laughs> 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 Righto. We before, laugh because it's true. Before people get even more confused, <laughs> we'll uh, come back with your calls next. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. The Dally M's were on yesterday, last night, and on the red carpet, everyone was like, oh my God, are they dating? They've been dating for a couple of years, but it does make a great headline because Harry Grant has uh, hooked up with his teammate, Trent's sister, Brooke. Mm. So they're on the red carpet. I mean, the thing is, they've been dating for a few years. Yeah. But what's the rules if you are dating? A mate's sibling. The one that always gets me, it's not sibling, but when Ben Eichen hooked up with uh, Wayne Bennett's daughter. Yeah. Uh, that was a bold move. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but we want to hear your stories. Kat in Kalanga, did you date uh, your friend's sibling? No. Actually, it was my brother. He didn't date any of my friends, but he slept with a few of them. Oh, no. <laughs> and I, I feel like it was mainly to get back at me for... Dating his friends on his football team. Yeah, yep. <laughs> when when okay, we were on, when Kat. I was about fourteen. <laughs> when, oh, you said friends, so you dated multiple teammates. Oh well, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. A couple of them. <laughs> he likes to think that it was more than it actually was. Right. Okay. Um, and he makes a yeah. He still brings it up. So I think it's affected him pretty hard. Your Honour, I would like to circle back to um, our client's uh, brief 
message there where um, Kat said that and you went, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, do you know what's funny though, Kat? Like I hated having brothers. Like hated it. All I wanted was a sister. Mm. And then you get to a certain age where you're like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't so bad. This is not too bad. Not so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. Another question, Kat. Did he manage to sleep with multiple friends of yours because they kept it secret so each of them didn't know they'd hooked up with him? Basically, yeah. Mm. yeah. Did he end up with any of them? No. No, no. no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did Which you? Which is good. Mm. Did, yeah, did you, end up, did you end up with any of his football mates? No. No, no. no I didn't. <laughs> I love that the producers wrote a little sort of a snippet of what you're going to talk about and they've made it clear that he slept with more than you did. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. And I, I never slept with any of his friends. It was, it was very high school relationships that lasted a few uh, weeks, right, you know? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. And when did this all come out, Kat? How did you find out that he'd been hooking up with your friends? Oh, pretty much as they happened. Right. Okay. Right. And it got to the point where I was just like, oh, another one. <laughs> 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 all right, Ali in North Lakes. Hello. Hey, what's your story? <clears throat> so my... I. Liked my brother's friend, mm-hmm. and he liked me, but my brother was hell no, nothing is ever happening. Mm-hmm. And then I had a birthday party, and he started kissing one of my friends. Uh-huh. So I was like, you know what? You did it. I can do it. So I dated his mate oh, for a few months, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, but he was hell no, you're not touching none of my mates. They're my mates. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sounds the like he was type, jealous. The, the brother type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. My friend just sent me a text going, didn't um, Dane Zorko, who's a former captain of the Brisbane Lions, marry uh, sister marry uh, Ryan Lester, which is a teammate? And, mm. yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> which is great because they've married. Do you know what I mean? It mm. ends up. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's still a risk. Yeah. yeah. There's always, but it's there's a, love always story. a risk. Yeah. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Chris- you know I'm the captain, right, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Not in my house. Uh, uh, Kristen in Logan Reserve, what's your story? Uh, my brother ended up marrying my best friend. And how was that for you? Um, it was fine for me. Um, I was on my 16th birthday and I was pretty out to it. <laughs> and I was cold through early hours in the morning, so my mother was at home at the time. Mm-hmm. And I walked to my mum's room to get a spare blanket and I seen them in bed. Mm. And um, so I grabbed the blanket and I said, you best be changing the sheets before mum gets home and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> and that, did you tell that story at their wedding? I did. How good. (laughs) Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. The Boost Mobile Gold Coast 500. October 25 to 27. Power in paradise. Tickets available via supercars.com or ticketech.com. Stab Abby and Matt. Brad Parrott, Ron Prix. Driving is my last chance to feel alive. You're a bit too responsible these days, Maddie, and you know what happens with that? You just become borderline boring. Mm. We need to change that. We need a little bit more speed in your life. So now mm. you're a grandparent. You've had your little baby granddaughter. We yeah. thought, why don't we see if you can uh, go on the racetrack, mm. which is very exciting. The difference is it's grandparents, you're racing, and everyone's on mobility scooters. <laughs> so uh, we're heading to the Gold Coast to do this. The, the guys at the GC500 were like, look, we need a main event. Uh, for, no, they're the going to put us weekend. on before the big event. Just <laughs> so you know. The celebrity races, they were always fun. It's so much good. Yeah. Yeah. Not until people kept crashing the cars. Oh, that's annoying. Um, mm. Now, the winner of this, you can still register your grandparent at b105.com.au. We're going to meet more of our uh, races next week. But the winner of the race mm. will actually get a holiday at the QT on the Gold Coast, your beachside destination worth waking up to. You can book now, qtgoldcoast.com. So there's, there's a lot on the line here, not just the prize of being the fastest grandparent, mm-hmm. but mm. an amazing holiday as well. You ready to meet your speed vehicle? Yes. Your mobility scooter? We've actually... It looks really hot. We've yeah, your mobility scooter in. We've pimped oh, it out. We've mate, pimped you it on out. that. Whoa. It's got all sorts of accoutrements on there to make you look sexy and speedy. Well, we should have put a uh, like a big billboard on it or something like that, like Granddaddy. Mm. The, the latest Granddaddy. Mm. 
as Abby keeps I'm wanting not, to call me. You asked me to say that, and now that's what's printed everywhere. No, but um, the, the Courier Mail, the Courier Mail actually said that you, you picked it. No, I you. did say it, but you made me, and they edited it anyway. It doesn't matter. I can't make uh, you so I can see it at the moment. We've got it in the studio. It's just behind the glass door outside, mm. and you're gonna. Give it a bat. Meet it, and I guess name it if that's what you. Is this the similar? You know, when you're a teenager and Mm. you uh, like, you get a car, Mm. and that like makes you popular with the women because you could actually drive around. Do you think it happens with old people? Like when they're in the home, they get a new new set of wheels. Maybe. And all the other grandmothers are like, oh yeah. yeah. No, I think this is more like when you pick your dragon and how to train your dragon. (laughs) (laughs) It picks you. Yeah, Yeah, isn't that works? Okay, so we're gonna we grab uh, our second microphones. We're gonna walk outside. We're gonna do a fat lap. It is. It's pretty small. Just so you're aware. And um, I I have given it a crack. You're gonna want to be a little bit slower on the corners because it does. It could tilt. All right. It's, uh, it's quite, it's quite yeah, oh, it's got people. flames on it. It's got flames coming out the back. And it has a, uh, a license plate that says Grandpa. Mm-hmm. Is that my fur? That's your fur. That is your fur, is I your believe fur? so, yeah. Fur? yeah. Fake, mm-hmm. fur? I mean, it's definitely fake. fake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, just well, I hope you can outrun the protesters. Um, oh, well, ooh, okay. yeah. it's, slow, it's slow to pick up. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's, full, full, full force. Come on, let's go. That's, That's it, horn? That's the horn. Okay. <laughs> Is that the horn? I thought it was if you're going to so angry at me. Hang on, let me turn it on. Let me just turn it on. <laughs> you're in rabbit mode, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want you to just go full bore. Okay, here we go. So you're on... So, it's so because they have rabbit and turtle mode. Yeah. yeah. So I believe I'm in rabbit mode at the moment. Yeah. That's just for indicating. Oh, that is the indicator? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, that's, that's turtle, turtle mode. mode. So you're in rabbit, rabbit mode. mode. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. Go for I it. am going to take off in three, so two, one. Is oh, hear that power? Oh, it's got a bit of stink in it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone in the sales department. Oh, it takes corners pretty well. Hang yeah. on. Good, yeah. good. There we go. I reckon you've got this. Oh, out of the way! Get out of the way! I'm old. <laughs> Down past the general manager. Yeah, yeah. Where is he? He's not uh, work today. from home today. Okay. Oh, oh, hang on! I lifted a wheel there. You lifted a wheel. There we go. Hang on. Come. It's got. It's, man, it takes corners really good. I Look at this. That. Yeah. You could roll them easily if you took do a corner sharp, too do far. Shut right. Shut left. Go. And left. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Apparently, you can put it into manual mode. Do you know what's really mode. sad? When you've got a mobility scooter that doesn't have any hotness, you actually need to make the sound effects yourself. I'm sure that's what. I'll change gears. I'll change gears. You ready? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> it's fast and delirious. I reckon this could be the new me. Actually, I feel yeah. pretty good here. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you're just going round and round. We might go back into the studio. <laughs> Mardo from Triple M's asking me why I've got his scooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can say that. I'm a grandpa. He's not. <laughs> All right, let's. You want to see what it's like in reverse? Yeah. Okay, so okay. stops. Mm-hmm. They don't have brakes, I don't think. You just, you like, just you, you just stop. Yeah. All right, I'll whack it in reverse. Okay. Does it actually make that sound the whole reverse? Yep. Oh, that's embarrassing. Ow. <laughs> you put your foot under that. I did. I didn't think we'd hurt oh that much. <laughs> Like a true grandfather. I've got a few kegs on me, mate. You've got to remember that. Yeah, you, you got a lawsuit that your foot on your was hands. there and still just ran over it. So do I get to keep this until no. the race at the end of October? Oh, I'm never walking ever again. <laughs> Why would I walk anywhere now? Uh, yeah. I like the little um, um, frozen tassels on the side too. Yeah, it's They're got my everything. pom-poms. It's got everything. Are they, are they from your, your cheerleading pom-poms, yeah. are they? Yeah. Yeah. Ash, our producer's really into arts and craft now. Okay, we so I'm just, this will be my last lap. Yeah, please. So imagine this, right? Come around the corner. Forward. I'm at the uh, at the retirement village. Hey, baby girl, you want to lift? <laughs> <laughs> jump on my, jump uh, on my lap. We're yeah, we're we're gonna Macca's, good, Macca's yeah. drive through. <laughs> right. We're gonna pop down to the no, chemist. No. Can we need anything from the chemist, guys? Okay. I'm just gonna. Get to All right, <laughs> I'm going back in too. I'm not. I'm just gonna keep cutting fat laps. How can a mobility scooter go to someone's head? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. No, I'm just having fun. Yeah. Well, don't, don't hate me because you hate me, baby. No, just to be like fair, a, can I have one go? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. Like yeah. a true granddaddy's forgotten he's on a radio show. Oh, are we on air, are we? <laughs> oh, I love the wireless. <laughs> Neil Mitchell, he's a very angry man, but he's got some good points. Okay. You know? All right. Uh, all right. Play some music. I guess it's probably not that much fun for everyone listening, just hearing 
Come on, Abs, come out and have a ride. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, sh- gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. You've got a dilemma. You can send an email, dear Abby, abby105.com.au, or you can DM me, but just know I might not get around to it if it's in the other, other box. It takes me a while. Uh, but I've got this one, and I was like, oh... I, I think this is common and I'd like to hear from ladies and, and men out there that have gone through it before because she's written, uh, Dear Abby, listen to the show all the time. Say hi to the boys. Hi, boys. Hi. Hello. She said, you always say that others have gone through the same. So this is what I want to test because I have a massive fear that my son is not mine. Oh. Fifth round of IVF and we finally got success. I say finally because it was our fifth and our last we spoke about. Mm. But now I have a massive fear that I might have got the wrong embryo. Is that common? Mm -hmm. And can you ask, does that go away once you have the baby? Or do you always think maybe, maybe they've made a mistake? Mm. 131060. I say I think it's common because my friend went through this because she was like, wait a minute, after all this, did they get the right Mm. DNA? And she's like, regardless, it's my baby. My baby, of course it is because I'm having the baby. What is DNA? You know, that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you start to think about what could happen when it's, I guess, in the lab. And you know all the protocols and how serious they are with it. always human error. Mm. I guess. But is that common? Because she sent me a link of an article, I think, that was over in the UK. And I was like, for starters... The internet is Stop not helpful. Stop Googling mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. And as soon as you look that up, but I guess once you have the baby, does it go away? If women have gone through this. And when you went through IVF, did you have this concern? And is it a common thought? And mm. does it go away once you have the baby? I assume then what you would start to think is, well, if I have the wrong embryo in me, then where is my, my embryo? And yes. does that mm. mean I have a biological child where a woman has the wrong embryo in her? Yeah. I mean, it w- but then you raise it, you know. I, course, mean, I mean, even in hospitals these days, they don't even take, you know, how they used to have the big nursery. Yeah, you know, yeah, they, yeah. Don't, they don't do that anymore. And if you've gone and had a baby there, you'll see how many times they try and like tag mm, it to make sure. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, I, I don't, yeah. I, I can understand why people would think like that. Um, but even when you, when they make the embryos, you know what I mean? I guess the stress would start there because it, do they put the right sperm and egg together? Mm. Like, do they. Do they check that? Yeah. And then even, would you do a DNA test after the baby's born to double well, that's check? Well, that's the article that she sent me. Right, right. <laughs> I don't know where it was, but she sent me an article saying, oh my God, this is my biggest fear because there was a uh, a girl at the age of 18 did Ancestry.com mm. and then found out they're both set her parents were not her parents. Ancestry.com. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. now I think they're going through the courts trying to sue one of the IVF doctors that went through it. Right. Because it's stories like that that has made her fear. Yeah, yeah. So and profound. see, back in the day before the internet, you wouldn't hear those stories. No. You know, you would You know, be, and like yeah. the reality is, I guess there's a lot of kids out there that don't know that their dad is not their dad. That's true. Dad. Uh, That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I uh, have zero experience on any of this. Mm. Mm. But I mean, in a, you always like to think in Australia. Couldn't happen here. They're not the cowboys, mm. they are overseas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got to do. I don't know. If you're a scientist. And you're in the yeah, IVF lab. Yeah. I would love to speak to you just so that you could give everyone maybe the reassurance of what happens. Mm. Mm. Remember we spoke to someone who does a lot of the travel for it? I was like, why are they traveling? Why are those little embryos going around? Why, the why are they more travel than I am? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean they, they do the traveling? Like they... Uh, you can. Someone was saying that you can, if you're not happy with an IVF clinic, you can change to one, and then how do they transport those? Oh, yeah. Oh, as in they send your embryos to Melbourne or something like that? Yeah, yeah, or interstate, or even just with different labs in the same state. That would explain that freight truck I saw with baby on board on the back. <laughs> if you have gone through IVF, is this a common thought? And mm. does it disappear once you have the kids, or maybe you've always thought about it? And- is it a common thought, even if it's like, is it a, a thing that happens... Some men might think it. You they know, might just start yeah. to go, oh, yeah. If they if they felt like their relationship was on the rocks, they oh, might yeah. start to question and it. And as that well. newborn baby time is madness. Like yep. all sorts of thoughts go through your head. You know, they, Are you sleep deprived as well. They say in the wild mm. that uh, babies will often look like the dad. Yeah, so, so they that they eat don't them. eat them. Mm. So save Rory a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs>
131060, your call's next. Selena Gomez right here. Brisbane's B105. Stab Abby and Matt. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. Dear Abby. Sometimes in life, sh- gets real. And that's when you need Abby to help. I'm trying to help you. If you're going through something here like, oh, people won't understand, you'll be surprised if you share it with a group. You might get advice that you need. Uh, you can send an email, dear Abby, at b105.com.au or a DM. She said that she's uh, five rounds, five rounds of... um. IVF and it's success, but she's concerned that the baby's not her. She says she just has this fear hmm. after reading articles of people doing DNA tests and finding that they might have used the wrong embryo. Is that common and does it disappear once you have the kids? Uh, Carly's there. Hi, Carly. Good morning. How are you? Good. What's your story? Um, so we did 10 rounds before we had success with our son. Mm-hmm. Um, he's now 13 months old. Um, and things like, I know she read articles and there's like so many documentaries on Netflix, like there's one called Our Father where the doctor uses his own sample instead of yeah. husbands or donors. And so we watched all that when we were going through our <laughs> process. Sounds like the right um, thing to do. <laughs> exactly. Why not? Mm. Torture yourself. Um, but I ended up having an emergency cesarean and as I'm lying on the table getting stitched up and that, my husband came running over to me and he's like, so, oh, so I'll start with, he's got a um, little skin tag on the side of his ear, my husband does. Mm. And he came running back over to me as I'm on the table and he's like, Carly, the doctor didn't mix up his sample, he's ours, he's got a matching skin tag to me. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. So Oof. that was our little, uh-huh, he's ours. He's no ours. <laughs> so did you, does that mean you did talk about it or you did express it? Yeah, so yeah. it's always a fear because yeah. you don't know what happens in the lab and you don't know, like, well, obviously you trust the process and you you have trust in your clinic, or mm. you should have, mm. but there's always that niggling thought that could they have, could they have given me the wrong embryo? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I guess um, it would yeah. be, you start going through the scenarios in your head where like if you found out when your child was 10, mm. you love them like they're your child, but... Somewhere out yep. there is another person with your DNA. Exactly. Yep. And all of yep. this we never would have known until Ancestry.com. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a lot to answer for, doesn't it? I think it might be a subsidiary of Netflix at this stage. <laughs> Just a way of getting stories. <laughs> we need a bit together. more drama. <laughs> yeah. Anonymous yeah. in the city. You did 13 rounds of IVF. What's your story about this? Yeah. So we did uh, 13 rounds of IVF um, and we finally got pregnant on our final round with wow. twin boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And um, during the pregnancy, my partner was always concerned, what if they mixed up his sperm? Mm. But since they were born, it's what if they mixed up the egg? Because it's very clearly that our twins are his. Right. They are identical to him. But I definitely have a little niggling, like, what if? Mm. And we had a lab error during our journey with one of our techniques. So they didn't mix anything up, but they made, they used the wrong technique. Okay. So that is always just that little fear sitting there mm. yeah because you always yeah. you do have to put a lot of trust and uh, although you kind of like yeah it's streamlined it's still human error yeah. it's still yeah yeah Ab- absolutely and i'm in the health field so i've seen human error happen in the health field mm. and yeah you do know that mistakes happen and there are checklists for a reason but they don't always go through that regardless they're, they're your kids of course oh, but do you, you would never do a test anyway no, I don't think so. Yeah. I think because they are definitely my partners. Like, yeah, yeah. Wait till they're like teenagers different. and you don't want them to be yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so far the only thing they've got really is my fiery temper, I think. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's in your DNA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nature versus nurture. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And was it because it was the final round that put the doubt in? You know, where you're like, oh, maybe they just made it work or... Did that make no to difference? To be honest, yeah, a little bit because we, 13, never got there, mm. plus IUIs and other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a little bit of fear there sometimes. And we joke about it, but uh, I think some people don't realise that it's actually like a, a little seed inside me. Of course, yeah. of course. Well, thank you for calling. Thanks yeah, for sharing thanks your for sharing. story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you've got uh, a question or something you need help with, dear Abby at b105.com.au. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. I present the Honourable Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister. Albanese, Albanese. Albo is on the air. Good morning, Prime Minister. Good morning. I, I thought I was going to miss out on my 
intro song. No, no, no. no. Never. Never. Never, never. We're consistent and plus we haven't updated it, so it'll always be there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be perfection, can you, Albo? Exactly. But oh, we could beat it if you guys sang the song yourself. Ah. Well, Steph does that, sing that. that, 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 that He's that, doing but... singing lessons. Mm. Oh, very good. Well, you could you could sing it live next next time. Okay, okay. Can do. Um, I thought you were calling up to say congratulations to Maddie. Did you know that he's become a grandfather? He wants me to call him granddaddy, but that's just creepy. But yes. Yeah. Oh, congratulations! A, a, a little boy, a little girl. Little girl, Illyria Faye Acton. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely. And, yeah. and everyone's all healthy and happy. Yeah, they, uh, mum and Bob went home just last night, wow. so they're all back in the house now, mm-hmm. which is um, very good. But yeah, everyone's very healthy. She's so cute, elbow. Um, and, and the good thing is, you can you can spoil uh, your grandkids yeah. and yeah. Not, yes. not have to do the hard bits, but just do all the fun bits. Yeah, exactly right. How old is your son? Mine's twenty three, so I'm hoping. That it's some time off before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. 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 well, You're too busy. You got a wedding to plan. Yeah. 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 My it, son's exactly. twenty-two, so um, yeah, that's obviously why I'm so young when when I become a grandfather. But mm. um, well, yeah. it can happen. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, okay. it has. Just out of curiosity, what kind of benefits do I now get as a <laughs> grandparent? Nothing. Like, what's uh... Hey, the, the the benefit you get is loving your grandchild. Well done. Uh, well, you would get a senior what, benefit, what but you, you don't. What more do you need? What more yeah. do you need? Yeah. A tax cut. Um, <laughs> no. We've already given you a tax cut. It's a low one. <laughs> oh, right. I thought him personally. Uh, nice. I thought, what's going on here? What's going on? <laughs> well, I want a tax cut. We've given you uh, $1,300 off your energy bills. Mm-hmm. Mm. Two for childcare for the little one as they come along. Mm. Yeah, that's well, that'd be go. a benefit to my son. Yeah, yeah but enough. he's offered mm. free at his household. Mm. Hey, I know that the, you guys are looking to crack down on the uh, the supermarkets who are like doing shrinkflation, which I know everyone hates. When we hear a lot of these headlines, I go, how much authority do you have? Because a lot of it is like we, we want to, you know, ban social media from a certain age. But c- can you actually introduce some law to make it happen? Or mm. is it all just putting pressure on those big companies to do the right thing? Well- well, we can because one of the things that we've announced and we'll introduce legislation this year is to make the food and grocery code mandatory. Mm. It was voluntary. It was all up to the goodwill, essentially, mm. of the big supermarkets. But we're going to mandate it. And uh, that will mean that there are multi-million dollar penalties for serious breaches. Mm-hmm. Uh, so shrinkflation is when a product that was 500 grams, all of a sudden becomes 400 grams, but the same price. Yeah. And people will have noticed that happening. Mm. Uh, companies making their products smaller and their prices bigger. Mm. And so it rips Australians off. Now, new product packaging shouldn't mean that customers are paying more for less. Mm. Uh, so uh, paying more for air just isn't yeah. fair. Yeah. That's the yeah, other nice. thing mm. that's mm. there. Yeah. You know, often you see the, the packages might look the same size, but there's not as much in them. So I guess the tough part, here. though, how do you stop shrinkflation in the freezer department? <laughs> well, well, the same principle will apply. <laughs> okay, Steph liked it. And, Just check uh, it. <laughs> He's asking principle. for a friend. <laughs> it was cold. It was cold <laughs> in there. But then won't they just charge us more for the same? So rather than drop it, they'll go, okay, we'll keep the product the same and just jack it up a couple of bucks. Is there legislation no. to ensure that they can't just keep hiking the price? Well, that's what the mandated code is all about, mm. making sure that customers get uh, the right delivery uh, and get good value. When people are going around their supermarkets during cost of living pressures, uh, they're looking for value, they're looking for specials, and there's a range of ways that just annoy customers, and quite rightly so. Mm. Shrinkflation is one. The other one is where prices go up by a dollar and then down by 50 cents, yeah. and they pretend it's on special or it's mm. cheaper. And on those measures, the ACCC, which is the essentially the consumer watchdog, is taking Woolworths and Coles to court with 500 between them examples of suggest, alleged breaches, mm-hmm. and there are substantial fines uh, going into the tens of millions of dollars will be available uh, if that is found to be correct before the court. So 
Uh, that's the other thing that we're doing. The other area we're doing is funding choice, which is the consumer organisation, to publish uh, what a basket of goods uh, comparative costs are across supermarket chains, and that will make them more accountable as well. They found that yeah. Audi was cheaper than the big two. Yes, it is. And so we've funded that for three years. So, look, you're it, doing it's a bit, not, which is good. Which is good. It's what? Not simple, but mm. what we're doing is taking on at each and poss- at every possible measure we can to they make sure to that consumers get looked after. What's in your weekly? Uh, Sort of uh, dinner, shop. yeah. Like, what do you have on rotation? What do you say about the same meals? Well, yeah. you get to eat at Parliament House, right? Yeah, like chicken nuggets and chips one night, skeddy bag the next day. Like, I've got to say, I, I'm mainly on a fish diet no. at the moment. Mm. Oh, shredding oh, for the wedding, the are wedding. we? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing. I lost it, quite a few kilos when I became. Labor leader, and then I had you might recall my car accident a couple of years ago. That was a bit of a wake up call to get fit. So it's all about what you eat, but also getting a little bit of exercise. And getting exercise in this job is hard. Yeah. Would you give uh, so the Ozempic could, a go? Did you think, think Ozempic? about trying the Ozempic? Oh, I'm not sure about some of the. Uh, other effects of, of those things. So uh, I'd, I'd rather uh, go the, the natural route. Then you'd have uh, to start with the pharmaceutical to... companies of how much they are uh, yeah. <laughs> price yeah. gouging. Don't yeah. get him started. And the next indeed, thing we're talking I... about vaccines and we're down a whole rabbit hole, aren't yeah. we, Elbo? Indeed. My go-to used to be pasta. I would have pasta four times a week. Ah, uh, yeah, got to cut that I, out. Now it's just... Uh, Special occasions. Um, I really enjoy it a lot more when I have it now. Yeah, Gosh, yeah. look at you. Special occasions, you have a bowl of pasta. Woo. And the man of the people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, and and uh, just uh, a, a few other little rules, like I, I go to a lot of dinners and functions. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. you know, and... don't, don't eat the bread, don't eat the dessert. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, often don't eat multiple meals either. It's mm. really easy to get. Uh, food on, oh, wow. on planes. To be fair, this is just making me you. hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, buddy, great to talk to you this morning. Thanks for calling uh, through. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks, guys. Great to talk with you. Good thanks, on you, buddy. There is a Prime Minister here at B105. Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. Well, the old saying is that you are what you eat, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Which may not be a good thing. Going to ruin a few things for you. Hope you don't mind. Because um, I stumbled upon, and it's... I always say that one of my favourite foods are hot dogs. What do they call them now, the kids? Grizzles? Glizzies. 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 Um, I love a hot dog. Uh, just don't tell me what's in it. Well, they don't know what's in it, do they? <laughs> exactly. It's a mixture. Yeah, it's, it's a, a potpourri. Oh. It's the leftovers, right? It's the four. Who doesn't like leftovers? <laughs> I think it's the, the hooves that always freaked people yeah. out. Like, what, what? Hooves and entrails. Mm. Um, but I stumbled upon a list online of things that are found in everyday foods that may not be as appetising as you might think. Was there sand in toothpaste? Oh, I don't know. Because my... Uh, I think they used to put that in as coarsenessness. Yeah, well, yeah. my uh, great uncle, is that a thing? Mm. Uh, would work at like a sand place. So we used to get in the buggies and go over there and he was like, this goes to toothpaste. And I used to always think, oh, we just got it dirty. Oh. <laughs> But they'd have to, they were sort of grind sand. Yeah, right yeah. Down. Oh, God, that's mad, my. Give me the heebie jeebies thinking about sand in your Maybe mouth. Maybe that's not the case anymore. But I think it was used in a lot of different products and building mm. materials. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who doesn't love chocolate? Well, everyone loves chocolate. Everyone loves chocolate. And it's look, it looks like it was well ahead of its time because in every 100 grams of chocolate, there's allowed to be up to 60 insect fragments and one rodent hair. Oh. Is that is this Australian law? Or have you got this from here? This worldwide. How they make oh, fruit but they'd be nuts. different in How Australia. How they make fruit and nut. Why would it be different in Australia? We don't what do you have mean? Why would it be insects? different in Australia? Because they've got different like uh, there's different rules in different countries. Well, it's just the Australian it, Health Organization. What are they? But doing? But you can't. There's nothing you can really do about it because chocolate is made from beans that grow in pods on trees. So ah. even though there is a manufacturing process, there is bound mm. to be some bug bits that get in there. Well, I thought it was factory conditions. You know, when they always mm. go through and they tell all the places. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They didn't make it mm. and they got fines. Yeah. This one's crazy. Bread. Bread contains uh, the chemical, which is the same chemical that they used to make yoga mats and rubber shoes from. 
What? Is it, is it like a binding agent or something? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then uh, a customer found out that Subway uses yoga mat chemical in their sandwiches. They petitioned to have the uh, it taken out, but it's um it's it's in there and it doesn't it doesn't do none of these do you any harm. Oh no, I think these the are the ones that, that do. You, oh, you think? Yeah, there's huh? a real thing about the the products that are using yoga mats and they should be banned because right. the yogis aren't happy. And I know over in the states they've banned a lot of it. They've even banned in uh, a lot of um, places in America hmm. an agent, one of those red like. I, I, I don't know. You know how it's like makes people. Oh fun. yeah, for red food coloring or yeah, something. Yeah, did you see that? That's made, that's and made up on them. Banned uh, that in a lot of the cafeterias because mm. we know how they serve lunch at the school. Yeah, mm. that'd it, be on your list, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's made from the cochineal insect. It's actually they, they're not in there. It's actually made from that's them. That's right. Yeah, yeah, they grind them down or something. Yeah, uh, and it freaks people out. But it's actually much healthier than some of the other that they were used to be using uh, right, back okay. in the day. And yeah, you know, more and more everyone's eating like it's coming that way that we're going to be eating insects. As a staple, mm. as a way to sustain the planet. Mm. Um, this is disgusting. I always used to think it was horse guts. You'd always hear this one for mm. chewing gum. But chewing gum is actually made from lanolin. 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 Isn't that what you put in your skin? <laughs> lanolin. As moisturizer? Uh, it would be because sheep secrete sheeps, it yeah. in a waxy substance to keep their wool uh, to keep it waterproof, and At they whack it in a uh, one of those big spinny things, and then put it in. You can buy it from the supermarkets as a moisturizer, and actually mm. has a photo of a sheep on it. Oh, oh. So it's not like they're like. Oh, I thought that was just because the sheep had such good skin. <laughs> <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Can you check on there uh, if there's one about shredded cheese? I, I'll have a look. Why um, were you thinking it's in shredded cheese? I saw something on the internet that said, you know how you can buy the packets of shredded cheese? I always do, yes. And they, the bits of cheese don't stick together? Yeah. But if you were to shred your own block... Sometimes and put if together, you get other stuff, stick together. it'll have a big ball of cheese if you get like a yeah. Yeah, different brand. Yeah. Apparently it's like, uh, whether it's true or not, was TikTok, hmm. so, some sort of sawdust is used okay. to coat it and keep it separate. All right, I'll have a look. I'm on it, Maddie. Uh, I thought that might have been on there. Why do you guys want to ruin stuff? It hasn't stopped me from eating it. No, I, I just, just like I get know. it out and I go, ooh, that's clever. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. I'm still eating it on the tacos. <laughs> tummy splinters. I've got <laughs> tummy splinters. <laughs> Stab Abby and Matt for breakfast. B105. Yes, of course, I have become a grandfather to beautiful Illyria. Faye Shocking Acton. Shocking news. I know. The well, sun, no, it, was, it? it was just that there was a, a lot of stories that went around oh, yeah. um, of you in the Courier Mail and the Daily Mail, mm. and then it was like a, a shock at the age of 37. Mm. Uh, one of my favourite parts of the press picking up the story, though, is that um, obviously it talks about how we broke the news on air and how you guys were, because it was a surprise yeah, for you, you and well. your, your reactions. Yeah. Yes. Um, and it says uh, co host Stav Davidson. Uh, corrected him to say that was yesterday because I guessed the day before because she'd already been born. Mm. And then it says Abby uh, Coleman was quick to congratulate him and call him granddaddy. Cemented in history. And then it just left it there. It's like, no, it (laughs) was like (laughs) Abby was forced to use the word granddaddy. I know. That's why print Mm. always freaks me out. Are you going to make them print a retraction? I tried. <laughs> They're always like, just tiny. Let it go. Let it go. The... That's, that'll be old news by, mm. you know, tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I can't, I can't believe you picked the name Granddaddy for me, which is yeah, fantastic. Lovely. <sighs> <laughs> um, but Lud Bible in the UK has run a story. Oh. Have they picked it up us. because they're focusing on the age? Is that what it is? Because it I looks like we're shocked spin. that you are at that age yeah. rather than just that you hadn't told us oh. that you'd had the baby. I Correct. thought it was internet sensation becomes granddaddy. <laughs> 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 um, Cross dresser, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, um, many many things. Yeah. Um, so no, yeah. So Lad Bible have run it. Someone's just sent me the the link, mm. and uh, the comments are fantastic on uh, the internet. Yeah. yeah, that's the first thing I run oh, to. I mean, you love reading comments, so imagine reading comments about your own story. It's the best, <laughs> it's the best. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there are some people who know my story, which is if you don't know mm. that um, I was 18 when I met my wife. She was 22. Ethan was three. Yes. So she had already had him um, and we've been together 19 years. Mm-hmm. Um, and to me, he is my son. I've raised him that whole entire time. Yeah. And, yes, he took my last name mm-hmm. uh, when we got married as well. So um, I can see why people write the math ain't math. And yeah. <laughs> but I do love people in the comments, and this is Marcus, who mm. is obviously from the UK, okay. and he's jumped in there to be like, whoa, 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 calm down, everyone. Because yeah. he says, uh, the age of consent is 16 in the UK. Why is this all so shocking <laughs> to everyone? The primary function of sexual intercourse is to reproduce. Legally, he could have been a grandparent at 33. 
Why do I see what him is... wearing a bowler hat, <laughs> sipping a cup of tea? Yeah, no, not really. I just the think he lives on a he UK. lives on a street where he's like, they're all sixteen. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very yeah. yeah, it's very common. In the yeah, UK. yeah. People yeah. make choices, and honestly, having kids earlier generally yields better results in terms of the health of the baby and long term success of the parents. Wow. So I, I haven't clicked on his profile. He might have like fifteen kids or something. Probably does. My, I had a, a friend there who was a school teacher, and she was. 24 at the time, and none yeah. of the kids could believe that she didn't have any kids. Yeah, because oh, really? they have a lot of schools where you're allowed to bring your kids, right? They do. Like and daycare I, for it. I don't know if they still have it, but if you had a kid in the UK, you got an apartment. You got a housing commission. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Right. And also, you couldn't just buy condoms off the shelf. You had to ask for them from the um, assistant, so a lot of people wouldn't That's do that. That's obviously age. changed now. I don't know. I haven't been back Without, long, Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, er- there's a lot of people in there who are like, I was a, a grandparent yeah, at 35 or, yeah. you know, um, you know, a lot of people concerned, like I've done the maths on this, blah, 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 run to the comments to see what everyone's saying. <laughs> um, but generally positive. Yeah. Mm. I'm terrible though, because when I meet people, especially when I'm out with yeah, Ethan, you love it. they will, they think he's my brother. Yeah. yeah and you love the shock. So it's going to be exciting when you take your granddaughter out. Yeah. I, I, that's like, it, I just love it. I don't get embarrassed by it. I don't yeah. feel the need to explain. I go, oh yeah. no, that's my son. Or he will even go, no, he's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just look and you can tell there's a thousand <laughs> questions. Well, he didn't get your height. <laughs> a bit taller. <laughs> and strangely, Ethan looks like me. Yeah. You know, like when you say that. Very yeah. much so. Hey. Yeah. yeah. So, um. Yeah, so no, it's been, it's going to be oh, a lot of fun. you made the UK. Yeah, yeah. I know. Look at that. Worldwide us. news. There we go. That's granddaddy energy. <laughs> oh, don't oh, say that. GDE. 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 I want out. GDE. 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 You're very excited about it. That's because I know what a noise you sound like. Stop having that. Alpha Bucks tomorrow, the 4th of October. Here are some answers to the 7 and 8 a.m. game of Alpha Bucks. 7 a.m., your letter is R, and some of your answers are Russell Crowe, Rome, and Ramen. At 8 a.m., it's D, and some of your answers are Drum, Drew Barrymore, and Doctor. Righto, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.